Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna share with you our favorite perfumes. Yes, we've got a bunch of perfumes. Some of them are very luxurious, some of them are more affordable. Yeah, we um, have a mix of everything. And yeah, let's they're start. pretty good, so. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess we're gonna start. I think I'm gonna yeah. start with my favorite perfume. We need to start with number, number, number one. Okay, so my number one perfume is this one. As you can see, the bottle is just so beautiful, maybe that's why it's my favorite, but actually yeah. the smell of it is so unique. Mm. You so can smell that it's posh, it's, you know? It's like a, this perfume is exclusive to Harrods and the brand is called The House of Oud and the name of the perfume is Empathy. So this perfume, I've got the um, details of it here on my phone. It's quite a heavy bottle, how do you travel with this? Yeah, sometimes I just take this out. But then you can spill and everything. Really? Yeah. Maybe you should get like an extra different cap. Mm, maybe. If you use a different cap on top. Oh yeah, see? Travel like that. Because this is like a heavy stone. But it's mm. very pretty. So anyway, you look halfway through. Can you even see? No, you can't really see. So anyway, this perfume it's super sweet, it's like a oud, but very sweet oud, which yeah. I like. It's like, uh, and the top notes are pear blossom, raspberry flowers, Indian davana, and the middle notes, tobacco, raspberry, Ooh. and base, Ooh, can smell raspberry. And base notes is wood, woody, moss, uh, benzoin, fir, and Iranian oud. So, it's like super sweet oud. Yeah, very That's sweet. Very... If you like oud and you like sweet, oh my gosh. You're gonna this is my this. number one perfume, but this is more of like evening. I wear this usually for the evening because it's like quite strong. And it's quite expensive, right? Yeah. So yeah, this is my number one perfume. What is my number one? I mean, I don't, don't you know? Not really. I mean, if I travel, I take five perfumes with me, minimum. Mm. So I don't have like just, I mean, this used to be my, f okay, I'm gonna start with this one because this is kind of a special one for me. Mm. So this is the Marc Jacobs Decadence Ooh. and it's got a little bag sort of design. I remember when I lived in Dubai, I went for the launch, launch of this perfume and Adriana Lima was the face of it and she was literally next to me. I didn't even get a picture of her. Really? Yeah, was she hot? Yeah, and super tall. So yeah, she was the face of it and I smelt it for the first time and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so different. See? Oh my God. You know when you smell a perfume and it reminds you of something? Oh this, my God. How, what does this remind you of? I don't know. Night out. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Like a night out, heavy night out. It's like super, I, ha I have, I have screenshotted like all the, details of all these perfumes so you can actually get an idea what it smells like but this is very like woody powdery amber sort of floral type of fragrance you know and it's fruity as well yeah it's quite fruity mm. it's it's got actually a lot of like notes it's like top notes are italian plum saffron iris heart notes are like bulgarian rose jasmine oris and then base notes, liquid amber, veti vetiver, I don't know what that is, um, something woods, woods, yeah, that's it. It's very like oriental woody. Mm. So it's quite strong, almost manly. Really? Like manly. Mm. It's like very sexy. This is like sex in the bottle. <laughs> and then it's I, the best for like an And then I've got this little um, roll on for a handbag. So yeah, this is kind of my go-to in like for the past more well, maybe six, five years. No, maybe five or four years. I don't know when it came hmm. out. Yeah. What next? Right next, um, maybe that one. Okay, this is my second favorite. So I bought this like last summer and this is my favorite perfume for the day. This is the Mason Francis Kurt Kirk, Kirk Dijan, Kirk Dijan, or whatever you call it, and this is Gentle Fluidity. This is a, such a nice perfume. Yeah. Like I wear this every day. This is like my day oh, signature. Wow, it's so it's like it's like expensive. Like if you smell this, you just smell I don't know. 
Do you love it? Yeah, I love it. Well, you can't have it. So we have this kind of uh, thing between us that we can't have the same perfume. Yeah, because we have like, oh, this is my signature. Actually, no, we have three the same perfumes. No, four. That one, that one, that one. Yeah, there is four one. perfumes that we have the same, but these are more like a classic, so you need so, them. Anyway. Yeah, but these particular ones are kind of like, oh, this is my scent, so you yeah. can't have it. Yeah, and we don't really share. So this is my scent, and the the notes in this one are. Let me check. Okay, so juniper berries, nutmeg, coriander, musk, amberry woods, and vanilla. So it's also a bit oody, but... No, it's not oody. Like musky, maybe. It's not That's really not oody. oody. There's no oody in it. I don't know, I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> so There's yeah, no it's like a lot of vanilla, and it's very sweet as well, because it's got berries. Yeah, very um, And amberry woods, like a bit oody. But yeah, I well, love that. Okay, and we... it stays all day. So yeah, this is the... So talking about the same brand, this is the Mason Francis Curdejan. Uh, I actually got this perfume like a few weeks ago. Yeah, and this is the very popular one. It's called Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, this is a really unique fragrance. Yes, yeah, so I've only unique. had it for like a couple of weeks, so I, I can't really say, oh my gosh, this is my go-to favorite. But I know favorite. a lot of people that have this perfume and it's their favorite. Yeah, a lot. Mm. Very powdery, very different. Um, very, um, it could give you a headache. Very strong as well. So usually when we buy a perfume, we first uh, put it on our hand because obviously yeah. you need to put it on your skin to know. And then we go around the shop and like maybe in half an hour or one hour, we smell it and then we kind of know if we mm. like it. That's the best way. You can't really spray it on the paper and buy it. Mm. And then it's gonna give you a headache or mm. you know, you're not gonna like, like it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so this is really like woody, warm, spicy, amber, you know, type of vibes. Mm. I have the actually... Oh yeah, I have the top notes here. So the top notes are jasmine, saffron, middle note is amber wood, and base note are fir, fir resin and cedar. So it's kind of like powdery vibes. But whenever I spray this, this actually smells really nice in like a few hours, like mm. after. But I'm pretty sure it's got vanilla in it. Why does it not say vanilla? I don't know, but I don't know. This one has vanilla. When I sp smelled this perfume, I got it in five minutes. I didn't even have to wait. I'm like, okay, this is it. This is the perfume I need. This is another one that I really love. Recently. And I have the same. And this is the one Laura decided to buy because the, same, and I'm like, the reason why I bought it is because I like to layer this one. So I like to spray this with something else. This is Tom Ford uh, Vanilla Fatale. So as you can see, it's a vanilla kind of base. everything vanilla we like. Oud. It's very oudy, very vanilla, and very strong. Yeah. So this perfume is great for. I mean, I sometimes wear it on its own, but it's great if you want to layer it and just add a few, you know, spritz and then something sweet on top of that. And it's really nice. Yeah, I like that this one. This is a really nice perfume. This one has, um, let's see what base, top notes and stuff this one has. I, I'm, I'm kind of like a geek when it comes to perfumes. I like to know what top notes, base note, heart notes, you know, it's got. So then I can kind of... No, so this one like is it. like a lot of tobacco. So basically it's like an exotic smell with like vanilla, mahogany. It's quite smoky. Yeah, and a lot of oud, so. But it's still sweet. So yeah. th that's why we like it. It's kind of sweet oud. Um, so yeah, that one's one of our favorites as well. Okay, so this is one of my favorites at the moment. I've been using this for a couple of months. Uh, it's like, whoa. When my mom smelled this perfume, she was like, her jaw dropped. Like, she literally knew it was expensive. <laughs> so, like, whoa. Like, how nice This is, is a very unique perfume. Very and it's unique. sweet. I'm gonna tell you the actual... It's Delina exclusive. Um, oh, yeah. We're not even telling the name, which is so bad. So, the no, the actual um, name of the brand is called Perfume de Marley from oh. Paris. Um, okay. And it's called Delina exclusive. I remember it's our friend fruity. showed this perfume to me in Harrods and I was like, mm, that's different. But yeah, I also know like few people love this perfume. So Amrizi loves this perfume. Yeah, this is her favorite. I think Amrizi's favorite is this perfume. Yeah, um, for sure. Because I saw it on her stories. 
Uh, and yeah, it's super unique. Yeah, very sweet. It's like very fruity vanilla, rose, ooh, tropical, yeah. fresh. It's got tropical type of vibe. Um, it's I perfect will. for the day. This is a day perfume. Yeah. So the top notes are bergamot, lychee and pear. Oh yeah, the lychee. So when you first smell it, it's like lychee, fresh, mm. fruity. And then the middle notes are Turkish rose, in 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 scenes, I don't know what that is. Burning oud, mm -hmm. and base notes are woody amber vanilla, which is my shit. Yeah. You know, woody amber va vanilla. That's why I got it. So yeah, after like a few hours, it's, it can give you a headache though. And this is very powdery as well. You need to try powdery this perfume. first if you if you you know to see if you like it. Mm. It's quite different. Yeah. What else we've got? Well, next on the list is this has been our favorite for the past like five years. Yeah, and this I've is had this for so long. Mademoiselle. Not five years, like seven years. Yeah, maybe. This is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Um, Very fruity. This perfume, literally, I think everyone has. Yeah. Right. Like, let me smell it because I. Just I just love it. It's like for the day, you know. Oh my gosh, what does this remind you? Oh my gosh, Dubai. Dubai likes. Because I used to live in Dubai for four years, and this is the perfume I would oh wear. God. I would for wear the day, every right? day. It oh, looks so nice. So it's like sweet, white floral, rose, citrus. I actually have a little uh, small travel size. So, so it's like kind of like a pump. You twist it, and you take that out, and you can oh. refill those. So you just uh, refill these. Oh, that's good for traveling, actually. It's amazing for traveling. Yeah. So yeah, Chanel Mademoiselle, that's the that's the OG. <laughs> yeah. My next favorite is this one. And this is quite a story to it because we went out once with our friends and one of the girls had this perfume in her bag and and, and we smelt it and we're like, oh my gosh, what, what perfume are you yeah. wearing? And she pulled this out of her bag and, and we're it. like, whoa, what's that? And she's like, I got it on Amazon. And the next day I got it. And Laura, yeah, she's so crazy about perfumes. She literally had to buy it. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, you know what this reminds me of? The Britney Spears perfumes. You know, the yeah. round ones? The, they used to have like the, the pink oh, color yeah. like this and the blue color. Do you remember? Yeah. This used to be our favorite when we were like 18. I don't know how to actually say this name. The crystal bottle that was La 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 Yu Wang? Oh, actually, you know what? I think it's like a Japanese name or something. I'm just gonna whoop, go close to it. It's called Jasmine Wisp by, by this name. And the funny thing is, it's actually made in Dubai. What? Made in Dubai, UAE. Oh my god. So I get this on Amazon. It's actually, ha it's almost done, look. It's oh, like wow. till here. No, it's super it's sweet. It's so sweet and like, it's not really oody. Is it a day perfume or night? Um, I like to mix, so I mix this with this and then it's night. And on its own, it's day. You know, I like to make my little concoctions. Oh my gosh, you forgot one perfume. Which one? The Kayali Vanilla. Oh. Because I was just looking at it, I'm like, what is it? Oh. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get to that. This is a really sweet, fruity, sort of vanilla amber, you know, uh, white floral, kind of citrus as well. But it's, I think, like, more fruity. Mmm. It's like... Mmm. So, so the, in, the composition is amber, Strawberry. Oh yeah, that's how you can taste. And like uh, vanilla. What's I mean, this? Smell it. Co co comarin. Comarin. I don't know. Malto. Malto. Maybe you should Google it. <laughs> but and vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. Bour bourbon vanilla. So it's like super sweet and mm. oh, I just. It's very sweet. It's very nice. To be honest, I actually was because I was trying to find like notes of this, and I found a website, and you can actually buy a free meal. Free mail, like literally this for like three really? pounds to just try it. Oh. Um, so you can actually tr try it before yeah. you, you know buy the whole or thing. Or I'm pretty sure you can find this in Dubai if oh, you yeah, go to Dubai. I actually forgot to talk about one of my other favorites. Mm. I mean, this is just like my my baby. This is a very some people either hate it or love it. Yeah, this is the Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And oh my gosh, let me just smell it and die. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. It smells like um, marzipan. Yeah, it's like 
I mean, yeah, this is a perfume that you may hate or like or love because I mm. love it. It's like super sweet, very cherry. Like I like a super bit of cherry. cherry. It's sweet, fruity. Oh, it's got almond. almond. That's the one. Almond and kind of nutty. Um, it's, it's like so, an yeah. almond cherry type. Some people like it and some people would hate this. Mm. I remember showing this to my boyfriend first and I think he hated it. Really? But now he loves it. Really? Yeah, it's it smells different on your skin. I think it grows on you. <laughs> um, so the notes are black cherry, bitter almond, uh, griotte syrup... <laughs> I can't even say that word. <laughs> Rose absolute, uh, Peru balsam and tonka, roasted tonka. Hmm. Nice. It's got a nice little mix. But yeah, this is some, some unique. I think this was limited edition and now they actually made it like forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah because now it's in the shops. And they made a lipstick for this. So yeah, mm. that's. Oh, another Tom Ford, as we're doing the Tom Ford. This is the Soleil, Soleil, Soleil Blanc. It's really different. Oh, mm, it smells exactly like the it's oil. It's like super like coconut the oil from Tom Ford. Yeah, it's the um, same thing. Like it smells yeah. exactly the same, and it's really nice. It's like a coconutty kind of super nice for summer. Um, very like sweet and fruity. Mm. The top notes are bergamot, cardamom, pink pepper, Ooh. pistachio. Middle notes are yang yang, tuber. Rose, jasmine, and base notes are tonka bean, coconut, benzoin, ben benzoin, and, and amber. <laughs> but you know what I like to do? I like to mix this, these two together sometimes. Really? You know all the Tom Ford perfumes you can make, mix, mm. mix some mm. kind of layer. So yeah, I really like this one for day. Um, what right, else got? I've got another. We've got more affordable ones actually. So I've got another that it's like, this is the perfume that I probably purchased the most amount of times oh yeah like I repurchased this like maybe 10 times and now oh, I'm same uh, but it's actually, actually I actually first was wearing this perfume oh, do you remember right I bought this and now it's first. actually empty nearly so this is the Roberto Cavalli the original Roberto Cavalli and oh, this perfume we've got memories with that perfume but I only smell it even. I mean, I don't know about no you. No comments. But every time I smell perfume, I literally remember the. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ultimate night out perfume. This is like smelling this is Halloween, Halloween out. from 2012. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Halloween? <laughs> I don't know, any, any of the parties and stuff. Oh my gosh, this. Oh my. I think I'm actually gonna spray, you know? <laughs> Oh my, this, oh my god. I remember when I when oh we used to like go god. out and we used to wear this perfume, I love everyone this so used to be like, what is this perfume? Like, this perfume is this the shit. And uh, it's so sexy. I have the same one, but I didn't bring it because there's no point. Let's see um, the, what's the smell of it is? What's the smell? I'm trying to move my perfume. So around. the top notes are pink pepper. Uh, and then heart notes, orange flower, and base notes, toka bean, vanilla, and be benzoin as well. So, what's benzoin? I don't know. I need to go but with it's, this. <laughs> it's like. It's like sweet vanilla, but very sexy. And very strong as well. Oh, this is. This is it's not like flor floral, this, you know? This is like my. This has been my favorite for like the past five years. Yeah, so if you ask us like your actual favorites, like I will say my Je Marc Jacobs Decadence and, and this and then the Chanel Mademoiselle. Yeah, because the, the expensive perfumes that we've been buying now, yeah. we've only been like wearing them for like a few months a year. Yeah. These are like from years. Yeah. So, and actually, we have one more actually. And the other one is also the Roberto Cavalli, but that's the black one. And yeah, that's the, the black one. I have it here. It's called Nero Abs. Oh, a solutio. Mine is fucking finished and I don't want to throw this bottle away. And it's funny because they're quite similar, but this one... Um, I think this is like a strong version. So these, this has like orchid, citrus fruits, dark vanilla and ebony woods. So it's kind of more of um, like woody and dark vanilla type, but it's also... These two perfumes are proper night out perfumes, like evening. The only problem with this perfume is I think it's discontinued. Really? Well, how many times have you tried buying it and it's not available? It's always at the airport. Where? I've never seen it. I don't know. 
But yeah, we also have a mini version of it for yeah. if you want to put it in your handbag when you're going out. I haven't so, seen this in a while. Yeah, these two. I mean, this one, yeah. Yeah, this one. No comments. No comments. I have one night out from those years. Because all these other ones are like from these years. You know, the old years. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is like Zoom and Dubai. <laughs> Because I, I used to have like either the Marc Jacobs Decadence, the Roberto Cavalli or this one. This would be like my free night out. Mm. This is the 212 by Carolina Herrera. Uh, everyone knows this perfume, right? Mm, no. I went through three bottles of this. And, three? And probably four of these. Not good. I'm not even joking. Four of these. Mm. That's, yeah. that's how good, that's how much I love it. Um, like fruity. You can smell this anywhere, like in boots. And see if oh you like yeah, it. yeah. But this is one of my other favorites. Oh, and this one. This is my winter fragrance. I've been wearing this for like three years. I wear this around the house. You know, you have those perfumes that you're just gonna spray quickly if you go somewhere. Mm. How winter is this? Oh, this is proper winter. This is proper holidays. This is proper the name. Holiday. Maybe you should say. Oh, sorry. This is the Dior Addict perfume. <laughs> I'm too excited about perfumes, I'm forgetting of names. This is the Dior Addict. It's vanilla, floral, sweet, aromatic and powdery vibe. And oh, actually, we have a few more affordable ones. So we have, like, for example, I have one perfume that I wear for the gym, like, <laughs> every day. Because obviously I'm not gonna... I like to wear perfumes when I go to the gym because it makes me feel good, you know. Yes, I I work out better. So I'm not gonna use, you know, like the good ones. I'm just gonna use something that's kind of light. And this is my favorite gym perfume. As you can see, it's actually finished. We've had this in Dubai, you remember? Yes, we had this in yeah. Dubai. And this is the uh, Vince Camuto Bella. This is... Oh my gosh, this also reminds me of Dubai. This is ridiculous. I actually wear this every day to Do the gym. Do you remember how I This is my favorite. And it's actually very affordable. I got this, I think, in... Devon Hans or John Lewis or something? But you remember, I had this, I, I got this sent to me and I re reviewed this on my... Yeah, in Devon Hans. I reviewed this on my blog, this perfume. Yeah, and this one has like, um... Oh, so, so yeah, this perfume is like very floral, kind of sweet, good for the gym because it's light, it's not gonna give you a headache. So yeah, this is my gym perfume. My, I have two gym perfumes. Uh, I mean, gym and around the house. The... Victoria's Secret, this is the Noir Tees, and this is the Scandalous. Scandalous. They have very funky, fashionable bottles. Mm. And they're, they're just so sweet. Like, I wear this to, to go to the concert. Oh, they're like super sweet. Like, oh my gosh. These are like good gym perfumes, you know, because they're sweet, they're No, light. but like, we would wear this on a like normal, you know, occasion. On a day, It's maybe. very, so this one is very sweet, vanilla, fruity, and like powdery and then this one is also su su sweet and fruity but more like nutty and milky if you know mm. what i mean i like this one actually i like both of them but this is something that i like to wear like just quickly if i go shop or if yeah. i'm like, in the house and i want to smell nice because obviously you're not gonna spray this if you're going gym for like 200 pounds and then you have to get a new one you know yeah, what i mean sure. <laughs> um and anyway, these kind of perfumes are more strong, so you don't want to like have too yeah. strong perfume at the gym. Also, this one is quite affordable. This is from Misguided, actually. Oh yeah, I wear this for. The, I really like that as well. This is Babe Power by from Misguided, and I wear this literally to the gym. It's like super sweet as well. We like sweet. So perfumes. sweet. Oh mm. my gosh, that's so sweet. Oh yeah, that's very sweet. Our favorite is basically sweet. Amber, vanilla, mask, a bit of oud, mm. strong, fruity, fruity, yeah. not too floral though. Yeah, some of them are floral, but, but they're like sweet floral, you know, yeah. like fruity floral, if you know what I mean. Okay, and we've got last perfumes, um, and these are from Kayali. This is the vanilla. It's super nice. I really love to um, kind of it's so nice mix them together w together with the other one. What's Oof. the other one? This is some this serious is vanilla. vanilla. This is like, oof, this is like a proper vanilla perfume. And this is the elixir, so we kind of like them together or on its own. Yeah. This is like a musky sort of a, mm. oh, musky oody. Oh yeah, that's really nice as well. Yeah, not, not musky, the other perfume is musk, the <laughs> one from Kylie. But this is the elixir. Yeah. yeah. 
We love I really like well. to um, mix them with the other perfumes as well if I want like more vanilla kind of flavor, but this is also one of our favorites. The only problem about this perfume is that it makes me sneeze straight away after I spray it. Maybe because there's a lot of vanilla in it, but... So once I sprayed myself like a lot and I went into the Uber and the Uber had like closed uh, windows and stuff and I had to really, I was suffering from really bad allergies. Mm. I was dying in this Uber. Like I wanted to sneeze so bad, like everything was like, I couldn't breathe. Like my so why didn't you open the window? I don't know, you know us, we don't want to say anything. <laughs> anyway, but I still love this perfume. I still use it all mm. the time, so I think that's it. Yeah, that's, that's all This the sums up the favorites for now. We probably gonna have a new in like a couple of months. I just love to try new new perfumes. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments actually what's like your favorite perfumes. Yeah. Maybe we'll try them as well. I like to just go to the shops and smell them all the like all the time. Yeah, because I'm always in the look for a new one. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Anyway, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I I think I I smelled too many perfumes. I'm about too to... many memories in it. <laughs> but anyway, we're too gonna. Much. <laughs> Go now, have some dinner, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.